All right, guys, welcome back to uh, part two of the mobile jointer cabinet uh, build. Once again, this is my first woodworking project ever. I am a beginner. This should not be taken as how you do things. Uh, actually, I'm about to screw up here in like just now. So uh, what I did was I forgot to put the collet on the drill bit. Um, so I drilled straight through the board and straight into my K5 base. So that was lots of fun. Um, took me a couple minutes to figure out what was going on. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, nothing makes you feel stupid like trying something you've never done before. <laughs> anyway, well, I got it straightened out. Uh, here I am. Oh, actually, here I'm double messing up because I'm putting pocket holes in something that is not supposed to have pocket holes. I thought I had grabbed one of the sides, but that was one of the top or bottom pieces. So all of the work that I'm doing right here is not only messing a piece up, but it's wasting my time. So <sighs> luckily I uh, was able to work around it and didn't have to cut another piece. Uh, and it everything went together fine, so no harm, no foul. But uh, And of course the, uh, the pocket holes are, are hidden inside the cabinet. So it's not a huge deal. Still makes me feel like an idiot though. Again, this channel is uh, documenting my misadventures in woodworking as a beginner. Please don't watch this and think that I'm showing you how you're supposed to do things. There are many, many professionals on YouTube that you could uh, look to for that kind of information. I am far from one of them. And yeah, a moment ago I actually recognized my mistake and, you know, beat myself up a bit and then grabbed one of the proper pieces and started putting pocket holes where there should actually be pocket holes. This is uh, one of the two sides. And the other side, same as the first. And I really do need to build an actual workbench and stop using the uh, extension on my, uh, my table saw for this because it's really not quite sturdy enough for uh, I mean, it's, I guess it's sturdy, but it's not a good clamping surface because of the way the underside of it is. You'll see sometimes that the uh, the, the K5 the piece of plywood that it's uh, screwed down to, you'll see it rocking as I'm pulling down on the clamping lever. Of course, now that I say that, it's not doing it. <laughs> Now I've got the back piece. It'll actually be slid inside the, the frame of the cabinet and 
connect on all four sides to both the uh, both of the sides and the top and the bottom. Figured that would probably make the cabinet quite rigid. This is all three quarter ply, by the way. I had used a uh, right angle clamp from uh, DeWalt, which I really didn't like the clamp. I didn't like the way it, uh, the way it clamped together. I didn't actually show me clamping the stuff. My, uh, my camera had hit that 30 minute, uh, I'm not gonna record anymore moment. So um, yeah, I didn't really like the way that corner clamp worked. I have to look and see if maybe Rockler or Craig or somebody has something better. Tell you what, nothing shows off your belly quite like a uh, tool belt. <laughs> it just means I need to spend more time out in the shop and uh, less time on my recliner. One thing that was kind of funny about doing this, uh, building this was, you know, over the over the couple days that it that I built it, I was quite sore, like I had worked out, and that just reminded me how sedentary the lifestyle of the Peter Nerd really is. Checking square and surprise, surprise, everything was actually square or very, very close to square. Using these Craig screws is the first time I've ever used uh, square drive screws, and I'll tell you what, I certainly do like them a lot better than good old stripped out Phillips, uh, Phillips screws.
if the world would just do away with flathead Phillips head and stick with uh, the square drive or Torx, I'd be a very happy person. I haven't known many times how many times I've been taking apart a laptop or something and stripped out a uh, Phillips head. Clamp here just to get some tension on the uh, the back so that it'll stay put once I get it uh, evened up with the uh, with the carcass of the cabinet. So it doesn't sh want to shift around as much while I'm screwing it in. I don't really do need to get better at these camera angles so you can see what I'm actually doing. I probably need to get a little uh, GoPro or something that can go inside what I'm working on when I'm doing stuff like this. So my big old, big old uh, chubby body is not getting in the way of all the shots. Now I'm putting pocket holes in the separator between uh, where the drawer and the cabinet part will be. And it's going to attach to both sides and to the back as well. Didn't actually record this bit, but after I got the, uh, the carcass fully together, I actually got up on top of it and bounced my weight up and down on it, and it was—it 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 was, it was, it wasn't—it wasn't uh, budging. So this was—this thing was sturdier than I really expected it to be. That's what I was talking about with the. The jig rocking, uh, rocking up when I try to clamp it. There's no good way to get a clamp on the back sides of it because of the, uh, the rails that go down the uh, table saw extension. At least not the clamps that I, the assortment of clamps that I have acquired thus far, which isn't many. Here I'm measuring down uh, six inches to where I want the top of the separator to be. Seems like a decent size for a, for a drawer. Same as for the back, just putting a little tension on it to keep it from shifting around while I uh, screwed it in. Checked it for square with the with the square, and now uh, making sure that the, the 
distance hadn't changed and they're checking the drawer box, what will be the drawer box for square. And it looked good. Or I guess drawer recess. And because the first time I'm ever doing this, I'm like probably overly checking for square. <laughs> I actually have cut quite a bit of me checking how square something is, so. <laughs> Overabundance of caution, I propose, I suppose. close to wrapping up uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with just the carcass being built basically um, I'm not sure how I'll combine the rest but I've still got to add the casters uh, create a video of adding the casters of making the drawer and installing the drawer and installing the cabinet doors uh, and of finishing I'm not sure what combination those will wind up being in but uh, a couple of those I don't think are probably long enough for their own video, so. But anyway, yeah, there we go with the, the carcass all put together and everything. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for sticking around, uh, guys. Thanks for uh, for checking out my video and my build. Um, uh, I'll, I'll try to get the uh, the rest of the build up as soon as I can. Have a great, have a great day.